The next thing that I'm going to talk about is probably going to give you the biggest results and improvement if you do it properly. And it is about constructing a effective offense. And it also ties in into the combo structure that I was talking about before. And basically, there's a very good reason why all of the combos that I've shown end in air mana skill. And uh, I'm going to show you right now. And the thing that I've just shown you is called a safe jump. Hello guys, welcome back. This is LVR and welcome to my beginner's guide for Striker. If you have any questions regarding this guide, please make sure to post them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer it for you. Also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it helps me be motivated to make more content and these kind of videos. And let's get right into Striker's guide. So. A striker is a very fast and mobile rushdown character that likes to be in your face and she has kind of short reaching normals and uh, they compensate in speed for that so they're very fast some of the fastest in the game actually so basically the main idea behind this character is she likes to be in your face uh doing combos into hard knockdown into a high low mix up with maybe some throws and staggers in between and that's basically the main idea. So you never really want to be full screen away with this character because she has no way of dealing damage from full screen. And you basically want to be in their fa face nonstop. And there's quite a few ways for people to improve when playing this character. And one of the main ways to improve is in the neutral game. And if you didn't know, DNF Duel is a game with a lot of crazy far-reaching normals, as you can see from Ghostblade. And you might think a character like Striker that doesn't have that might be at a disadvantage. But as you can see right here, there's ways to punish uh, big normals in this game because they're very, they have very big hurt boxes. So basically, if a move is very big, you can punish it. Uh, in several ways and uh, the dive kick is one of one of the moves that is good for a whiff punishment and that's basically what I was doing there. There's other moves that you might want to learn how to use in neutral game like 6s because it can be used as whiff punishment as well and that's basically one of the uses of that move. And there's quite a, lo a lot other type of tools that you can use for example her 2s is a good anti-air and uh, you can basically confirm it if you're good enough and get a hard knockdown into a mix-up again and basically those are some of the tools that you can use with this character to improve in her neutral game and uh, let me just show you another one before we go on to the next se section let's go with launcher because she's a zoner and the last thing that I wanted to show with Strikers Neutral is basically a way to deal with projectiles. So if you didn't know, Strikers Quarter Circle Forward Mana Skill is actually fully projectile invuln. And I'm going to show it here. As you can see, she literally goes through the projectile. And that's basically her main way with dealing against zoning. And she has another move that is very useful against zoning that you might want to use, and it's her 2B. And as you can see, she can low profile projectiles. And you get a big punish off both of those if you can hit confirm them after that. I know that most of these tools are very hard to use for beginners, but it's very much worth knowing about them. Because that's one of the way to deal uh, with annoying stuff as striker when you play this game. And it's a long term, like, a learning process. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about with this character is combo structure. So if you played Striker for a bit, you basically know that she can go from A to B to skill in literally any order that she wants. And that makes her a very free-flowing character with a lot of combo options. So basically for that matter, I'm going to show you a combo with every button as a starter. And there is a thing that's very common in all of the combos. And basically the optimal way to end combos is going to be jump, B, dive kick into uh, mana skill. And that's basically the same for every combo. And I'm going to show you a rough estimate of what damage you can expect from each button as a starter. So here's the light combo. The 
this is 270 with max mana usage and by the way all of these combos are gonna be with max 100 mana and the rough estimate for this combo damage should be around 200 average and if you don't want to use that mana so basically with a light button you should get around 200 damage And this is the high end of when you use a B button, 407. And you should expect around 300 damage average when you do a starter with B button. So that's actually really good. And you should always end with the mana skill for a hard knockdown. And I'm gonna explain later why. With heavy button, it's a bit more damage, around 50, I think. And you should expect around 350 to 400 damage average with heavy starters, except in the corner you can get uh, maybe around 500, but that's not fully, fully explored yet. And with the heavy button, you should usually just do this one in the corner if you want to uh, start a combo with heavies. And you can get up to 500 damage, as you can see from that. But I wouldn't recommend doing combo starters from uh, mana skill in the corner. But if you manage to get them, I guess it works. And it does quite a bit of damage. And that would be it for the combo structure. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is probably going to give you the biggest results and improvement if you do it properly. And it is about constructing a effective offense. And it also ties in into the combo structure that I was talking about before. And basically there's a very good reason why all of the combos that I've shown end in air mana skill. And uh, I'm going to show you right now. And the thing that I've just shown you is called a safe jump. And it basically protects you from enemies doing... Uh, a DP on wake up and it basically forces them to block when they stand up which leads into a high low mix up with this character but this is a video for itself because it takes quite a lot of time to explain this but if you have any questions regarding this this is basically the main thing that allows this character to have very good offense and the last thing that I'm going to talk about that is going to improve your play quite a bit with this character is going to be defense and uh, the main way to defend in this game is blocking. But if the enemy can construct a good offense, you can't block forever and you get guard broken. So basically you get smoked for blocking too long. But there is a tool to get them off you, to relieve some pressure that they do, and it's called a guard cancel. So you basically press forward plus B and mana skill, or uh, not mana skill, just skill. B plus S, medium plus heavy, and you get them off you for 100 mana. This is a common skill for every character, and it's I, probably the best defensive tool that you have in the game to relieve pressure. Other than that, uh, you gotta be very careful actually when using it, because in some cases, uh, they can block your guard cancel and uh, basically smoke you still, and you lost your mana as well so it's very bad other than that her def defensive capabilities are not bad because she has a dp that leads into a knockdown which is very good but there is a problem with the dp it goes vertically straight up no forward momentum which basically means that if the enemy stops right in front of your face you're gonna miss it and you can't move until you land, so you basically get smoked. So the main thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to the DP is you should use it sparingly. Not too often, because if it misses, you're basically fucked. But if it connects, you can make it plus some block. So it's a very good defensive tool. Another defensive tool that she has is... Her... 2S, which is basically an entire, this straight up punch. And it's very effective to convert it into a full combo if you do it properly. You gotta it's you gotta practice it a bit, but it's very effective for an entire. And another thing that she has that all other characters have is rolls. And uh, 
It is very active. I don't think it's frame run. It's like frame three or something, but you can basically go through anything in this game with that roll, but you gotta time it correctly. And if you do, you get a punish, which is very good. So yeah, that's basically all of the defensive tools that I would recommend for beginners to use. And here's an extra combo with Striker. So if you were in Awakening and have full mana, you can basically TOD any character that has 850 or less health, which is Swiftmaster, uh, Enchantress, and Inquisitor. So here's the combo. And that should be it. And this time for real, so if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!